Hello everyone, welcome to Flowing Data channel and today we are going to continue with some of the built-in function which are used to manipulate the string like we have used before the capitalize and count function. Okay, so the first function we are going to deal is with find function. Now let me clear this up and I will show the example and then I will explain what is the find function is used for. So let's make the variable string and I'm going to pass here here I am okay now I make the another variable and I'm going to write str dot find okay and inside of this double quote and I'm going to write h first okay now simply I'm going to print out a now let's run this so you get the output zero okay so when you find you say find h then you get zero now i'm going to tell you what is happening so this find returns the location of the occurrence of this substring passed in the parameter okay so how our parameter in our parameter we have passed h so where h lies so h lies in the first place of this string values and the indexing starts from 0 okay so h is in 0 position and then e is in this e is in 1 and r in 2 like this okay so the starting indexing is 0 so that's why you get here 0 the place of h is in the 0 index okay so now let's put here a so a is here now let's see run so you'll get seven okay so let's count zero one two three four the space will also count four five six and this is in the seven index okay so this is what the find function does okay and what happens if you pass the substring which is not in the value of the string so you can see the result that is minus one so if there is no value that is passed in the parameter then you'll get the minus one so this is the find function okay now the next function we are going to learn is about the join function now let me show you the example so i'm going to write str equals to space okay and i'm going to write words equals to now the bracket first word i comma m comma awesome okay so i have these three words and now i'm going to write a equals to str dot join join what join our words okay now print a now let's see the result so you can see here i am awesome this words is joined with the space okay so if you pass here dash so now you will get the result output like this i dash m dot dash awesome okay so this is what the join function does it joins the words substring inside of the variable of this words okay so these are two more string functions now we have finished so this is all about the find and join function okay now see you in the next video and thank you for being with us